What's in the box? Oh, what's in the box? What's in the freaking box? You're watching Psycho Bass Monkeys. What's in the box? Hey guys, Ben Parker here with Psycho Bass Monkey, and I'm going to show you what's in the box. It's summertime, ledge fishing, Tennessee River, and elsewhere. I'm throwing a big Nichols Magnum spoon. This thing weighs about three and a half ounces. It comes out of the box ready to rock. It's got a premium swivel. It's got a premium split ring. It's got a great hook on it. This is what I use to catch huge fish out on the ledges, uh, you know, when they come post spawn and it gets ledge time, my favorite time of year. I want to show you a little bit about what I use to fish this. I have a custom built rod from Alpha Rods. It's seven foot five. These things are made one at a time. It is super, super heavy in terms of action. It's super, super light in terms of weight, and that's critical when you're spoon fishing. Let me tell you why. This is one mistake I commonly see people make. They'll put on a magnum spoon. They'll make their cast. Now let's pretend I just cast out in the lake. When my spoon hits the water, what I want to do is not engage my reel. I want the spoon to hit the water and work its way away from me. It actually allows me to set a little further back from the schools of fish that I just looked at on my electronics so I don't spook them. So when this bait hits the water, say if it hits the water in 15 feet of water, it's going to be 30 feet beyond that before it actually hits the bottom. Here's where you don't need to make the mistake. When this spoon stops going away from you is when you engage your reel and set the hook because one of two things just happen. It's in a mouth or it's on the bottom. Most people totally miss that bite. So again, when I cast out here, rod tip straight up in the air, this is not engaged, okay? When it stops taking line, engage the reel, set the hook as hard as you can. Now, if you don't have one and you, and you set the hook up, follow it back down, give it a pump, maybe a double pump on the way up, and fish this bait back to the boat. Manipulate the spoon until you figure out how the fish want it. And when you figure it out, that's when you get a 20 pound bag in the boat. Ben Parker, Psycho Bass Monkey. This is what's in my box. Thank you for watching. Be sure to check us out at psychobassmonkey.com and on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube as well.